Can you also share, if possible, what kind of roadmap you have for WeCluster Pro? So for WeCluster Pro, I think one of the biggest topics that we are uh, you know, focusing on right now is day two operations. Um, so obviously, if you have a fleet of virtual clusters, ultimately, you want to make sure you set up your monitoring and lo your logging up for these virtual clusters. Then, you know, things like um, how to back up uh, a lot of virtual clusters and have like, you know, disaster recovery and mechanisms for virtual clusters is really important. How to upgrade virtual clusters, you know. Um, you know, we just uh, had a, you know, obviously there's a lot of folks uh, using vCluster open source. We just had a company come to our booth today and, and say, hey, we run like 300 plus virtual clusters in production um, and we're starting to get afraid of how to upgrade them. And we're like, that's exactly what vCluster Pro is about. And uh, one of the most exciting things we're, we're starting to build for, for vCluster Pro is uh, the snapshotting functionality. So you can essentially, just like a VM, you can take a snapshot of an entire cluster and it pushes the cluster's state into an OCI registry. So kind of like a container image, but instead of an image of a container, it's an image of an entire Kubernetes cluster. And that's something really exciting because you can take backups in seconds or you can move a Kubernetes cluster, a virtual cluster from one cloud to another cloud or from one data, data center region to another data center region or you know, from your private cloud to the public cloud. Uh, I think that's going to be very, very exciting. Uh, this is not available yet, but it's a, it's a really big R&D topic for us. And uh, yeah, I'm sure once, uh, you know, once, uh, once this is in, in beta or we can, we can uh, give it into the hands of customers, we'll, we'll, we'll talk more about that topic.